Well, um, it's been a while, and uh, we don't have a signal box to tell us so the bell goes off so we can know where the loco is, so it's kind of staring off and hoping, I guess. Oh, wow, would you look at that? It's like it was planned all along, which it totally wasn't, but it totally was. Who am I kidding? This is a video. <laughs> What do we have? Who is it going to be? Who's our returning locomotive? Is that? Oh. 7 0008 or 7 0008. Oh, she's going fast. So, yeah, uh, fun fact I recorded the time lapse rebuilding the sheds. This loco was there in that shot. This logo has never been seen on the line on YouTube ever again. So, I think she went, her boiler ticket was running out, so she went for a long overhaul, and it was about two years worth of overhaul. You know how these things go sometimes. But it looks like she's going into the station. Yep. We'll wait for her to stop, and then we'll get moving on our own. Alright, let's get going. Brakes are fully set on, so reverser into full. Looks like the person previously didn't shut it down. And take off the brakes, do a whistle. And what I tend to like about these kind of locos is I can actually stand on the running plate so I can see further down the loco, which is just great. Anyway, we're all go this time, so. Shut off the regulator, do some braking. A lot of braking, looks like overshot, they always overshot. And then when we come to a stop, we'll accidentally, whoops. Oh well. I've seen, I've seen um, firemen at least drop off the running plate, like, while the loco's in motion. Like, it's probably a lot slower than it looks, but it looks like they're dropping off the, foot pl the running plate at like, I don't know, say 1.5 miles an hour at a random guess. Um, but yeah, let's get back. Looks like working in tandem with uh, Black Prince. 7 triple, seven triple eight Black Prince. I'll, I'll get it eventually, don't worry. Anyway, um, I have plans for the railway this year. Um, I want to do stuff, would you believe? So what I want to do is to do a lot of infrastructure work between all stations, a road connecting all stations, and then sometime towards perhaps end of summer if I'm quick, or maybe end of year if I'm slow, um, I want to release this as a world download for all the people who have been asking. Um, and yeah, you'll essentially have the full complete heritage line as it stands now, um, uh, but the main line is still it's a little difficult to do at the moment. It's essentially just a station for the main line. I want to expand the main line, I've got some ideas for that too. Um, so yeah, we've got plans. Lots of plans. Uh, channel wise, not much to be honest, just going to upload videos as and when. Um, keep consistent with all the Birch Forest Railway videos, but I want to be able to upload all the videos that I can, like if I want to record a game because I think it's a really good game in my opinion, I just want to be able to upload that kind of video and hopefully you guys will enjoy it, that'd be great. But yeah, that's kind of all that I've got planned this year. Um, there's some stuff happening IRL as well, but you don't really need to worry about that and to be honest, it's not really much um but yeah so we're just gonna be doing all that and i've got back into my arm thing which is annoying so we're currently as you can see we've already run across the points um we're collecting our coaches or collecting the coaches and we're just gonna couple up to them hopefully steady there we go we got them all right now we check back points are still set i think the loco is definitely detached I 
cannot see for quite up in the up the line. I'm going through the bunker. Uh, realism. All right. Reverse her into full into full reverse. Breaks off. Whistle to the station. We'll pull back. And then I believe, due to time limits, the loco is going to the train loco. Not Black Prince is going to act under the missile block. Yep, there's the whistle. And she should hopefully follow us all the way out to the station edge while we get this maneuver done. And uh, due to testing, I realize I need to go back as far back as the first tunnel. We also need a little less acceleration. This is a heavy train. Driving two trains at once. It works, but it's dangerous. Alright, here we go. Alright, so I want to let off and apply brakes. A lot of brakes. We'll try and let the hill slow us down a bit. And then we're just going to wait for some points to be changed. I, of course, have no idea when these points are going to be changed because we don't have any signals. We need a shunting signal. Actually, to be honest, I need just a mod. An entire mod, which gives me signals and level crossing gates and all that sort of stuff. But, due to my intuition, I'm going to assume that the points have been changed. So we're going to go whistle, fall forward some acceleration and this logo gets quite a start which is always interesting and yeah let's go down a bit needs to be like doing five to seven miles an hour i'm, I'm playing fast and loose with the speed limits i am adding speed limits along the line we are going for that sort of realism but uh i don't have finite control or I don't have like the best control over the speed limits because we're running so many locomotives so yeah as you can see it's late afternoon shaders making this world look much better than it is acceleration got some friction there we go they let off this look is a lot longer so yeah there she is Probably a lot more besides the points there, so we want to push it a lot further in to accommodate for the loco's huge length, which we would not be able to run across the points realistically. And as you can see, we're all about realism. Because when we're building at this scale, it's very difficult to do, I'll be honest. Realism at this scale, I don't know what it is, it's kind of like it's not half scale, but it's like maybe three quarters scale. Whatever's bigger than half scale. Because um, the way the points are sometimes and all that stuff. Like, my bane, the bane of my existence on this line is points. Points don't look realistic. Trains aren't going over the points realistically. And unfortunately, I've seen many a variation where trains have literally done 45 degree turns. Like, that's a loco and coaches just going at 45 degrees across the points at, like, 50. And those, like, crossovers and frog points, and it's just like, huh. Why are people... Why are people moaning at my points? But, of course, I can't show these people... Um, I can't show these people these videos of which I talk about because, you know, it would be a waste. There'd probably be something else to complain about. There's always something to complain about. That's just that's just how it is. I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, I do want to. I've been taking a lot of photos um, off camera of like various goings on in the line. So I was wondering if I should create like a behind the scenes montage, maybe sew it together with some. Um, oops, wrong button. Sew it together with some like running shots and stuff like that just see if that's of anything of interest to you guys um but i'll just trial and error with that anyway we will stand here and we'll watch the loco move off all 
I hope that you can forgive me for the, uh, I don't know, erraticness of everything that's happened in this video. It's quite difficult to maneuver two locomotives simultaneously or at the same time, um, and also keep an interesting conversation going at the same time. And uh, as people know, I am not the best when it comes to multitasking. I try, but I'm definitely not the best. There are people who've got way more experience, and that's usually what it comes down to. Experience. A lot of it. Alright. Filing up the maneuvers. And then, plot twist. Even before the locomotive comes down to the train, I will be the one driving the train back to mid -Papa. He's up on the... Yeah, that's... that's pushing it. Alright, keep going, keep going. Mind you've stopped. Let's try that again, shall we? Camera count needs more experience on the footplate. One more seat time. There you go, steady! Jeez. I'm lucky that we don't allow passengers on while this all happens. Alright, if you'd be ever so kind as to give me, as to give up the controls to this fine locomotive, um, I shall return the train to mid -Papa. What are you backing away for? It's alright. Uh, dispatch me please, thank you. Alright, this is another one of those locos where I can kind of lean out. It doesn't quite help, but there's also this nice, useful little window here, which I believe is also part of the IRL thing. Anyway, this is a standard 7 class, um, for those not in the know. There's a loco of, a, of the same name, Black Prince, different number, um, which is a 9F, and that's probably why I've chosen the delivery. Sadly, the this one was scrapped or met the scrapper's torch during uh, a change from steam to diesel. But, because Minecraft doesn't obey uh, time and physics and all that stuff, we have bought it back. So, yeah. Anyway. Ready to set off? Should probably make sure the reverser is in full reverse. And we're off. Train in tow, that's good, that's good. I'm gonna go inside here as we cross the point, because I don't want you to see. There we go. Alright, should be going over. We're going over. There's the rest of the train. All good. Check this side. Say goodbye to 4402. Great pilot loco. Did well today. Thank you for your service. And uh, this is us. First person driving. We need more speed for this, so I should be touching the reverser at all. And bye bye, Village Terminus. We'll see you again another day. Why am I getting such a <laughs> Been a long day, I'm sorry. Alright, okay, more acceleration. Power! More power! Sorry, I was moving my camera again around. This is a real how do you do. Welcome back to the line. Here, here's the steepest gradient on the line. Take it with all your might. For acceleration purposes, we'll put the we'll put the re reverser back to full reverse. I use the reverser more to uh, regulate how much speed the loco can accelerate up to, rather than uh, the working of the loco. Like. The, um, is it like 
So if it's full reverse, it's working super hard, but if you're pulling it further back to center, um, then it's not working as hard, and that's how you efficiently drive a steam locomotive. But I usually use it so that I can control the speed without dropping the accelerator, or dropping the regulator. So much terminology. Look at loud. Regulator a bit. And then we'll drop the reverser and get some more speed. Let's see if we can do 25 along this section. Or at least more than 20. Bridge 1. Uh, embankment 1. Bridge two. Tunnel. Frames are dropping because we are in track tunnel. It's a lot shorter than it used to be. Um, now it has this nice curve going away from it. Anyway, we're approaching, so I'm just slowing down, getting ready for the turns. There we go. I really like first person driving on this one for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's just the, the viewing. And this, I can do this. I don't know. I do like like this like that. Brakes, more brakes. That's it. Steady. We'll lose acceleration as we drop frames, so it's fine. It's not how that's supposed to work, but that's just how it works. Oh. Tend is further forward than I thought. Whistle. Acceleration. It's coasting. Trying to stop it from slowing down too much. Is it cruising in at a 10.8, 10 10.86? 10 uh, that number. Ready. Alright, let off fully. We're just coasting the station. Once we get past a certain point, we'll have brakes. Got our uh, got mid harbor station pilot right there. Uh, 1400 class. 1401, I believe. We use that as the shunter. The 08's uh, undergoing repairs. I think. I'm not sure. I'm not told much about what goes on on the railway, I just kind of drive the trains, that's, that's all I'm here for. Drive the trains, do some shunting, give a helping hand wherever necessary. That's me. Alright, we are here. If you couldn't tell already. That was some strange ambience. Anyway, let's, uh, let's have a look around. Oh yeah, that's a great shot. Alright, we're going to have to find a better shot. Uh, somewhere around here. Let's look. Anyway, um, that's pretty much all of it. We did two successful shunting maneuvers, strangely enough. Um, or, you know, how weird. And we have welcomed back uh, seven triple eight Black Prince. And, yeah, I'm happy. Um, so, yeah. Wow, it's been a while. So if you liked the video, or if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to see this on a more regular basis, or as and when, uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys around.